Oh my god. You want me to read it? Here I got it. And plus, you gotta maneuver this thing. <clears throat> okay, so. Hi there. <laughs> First of all, I wanna start off by saying, see, that's what threw me off. She said, my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm reading and it threw me off. That's why I started in my head. Okay. Okay. What? 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> guys today with a with another video response because we got another question from a subby by the name of Brianna 7865 thank you for your question girl hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it oh yeah sure okay um so she says hi there first of all I want to start off by saying oh my god you want me to read it? Here I got it. And plus, you gotta maneuver this thing. <clears throat> okay, so. Hi there. <laughs> First of all, I wanna start off by saying, see, that's what threw me off. She said, my. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading, and it threw me off. That's why I started in my head. Okay. <laughs> okay! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to boogers. Okay. Mm? Hi there. First of all, I want to start off by saying that your blog is simply amazing. You guys give me so much inspiration. I was wondering if you guys could give me some advice. I'm a plus size college student that is a bit timid when it comes to dating. When it comes to searching for that special someone, I noticed that the men of the Asian community caught my eye before any other guy. For a long time I thought something was wrong with me until I learned about the AMBW community. I really have an interest in Asian guys but I am also very shy when it comes to approaching them. I have always been on the heavy side and I've heard that most Asian guys don't date bigger girls. So that added to my shyness when trying to approach them. My low self confidence level makes me feel stuck sometimes and I really don't know what to do. I want to ask you to advice since you have become my role models in a sense. Here's my current situation. There is this Korean guy that I have fallen pretty hard for when we first met. I was the one who introduced myself first. After he got finished auditioning for a dance concert at school, he seemed pretty surprised that I came up to him. We talked a while and he told me that we were in bio class together. Long story short, we found out that we were both struggling in class and ended up studying together a lot. <laughs> other than studying, we don't really get to see each other that often because he's really busy. We see each other in the cafe and we usually have a light conversation about how our day went and that's about it. A few weeks ago I noticed that we were spending a little more time together. We usually ended up eating in the cafe together without any other friends. We would talk it up until an awkward silence and we'd wait for one of us to break that silence. It seems like he generally likes my company and he kind of depends on me in a way. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure his feelings for me don't go past friendship, but on the other hand, I've fallen hard for him. <laughs> Anyways, this semester is over and he has already made it clear that he's looking towards to studying together next semester. I really want to tell him that I like him come next semester and I really have no clue on how to do it. I've never told a guy I like them and I feel like if I tell him it will just make things awkward and I don't want to lose a good friend. My shyness and self-esteem issues do not help me one bit. So, do you think you have some advice that could help me? Could really need it. I'm freaking out. Sorry that was so long. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Thank you, Rihanna, for your message. We really appreciate it. And I'm going to go ahead and get into our response here. You want to go um, Yeah, I guess I'll go first. Um, first thing that caught my eye was that, you know, you, you got to give yourself more credit than you, than you give yourself because the fact that you approached them and the fact that you guys are talking and, and chopping it up and having a fun time eating together alone without any friends. I mean, girl, you've, you know, you've got the hardest part already done. For real. And, you know, <laughs> breaking the ice, that's the hardest part. And you did that. You did that. Yeah, you approached him. You know, you are you sure you you're shy? <laughs> you know, you know when, when we fall for someone, you know, we're definitely gonna have them jitters and them butterflies. And to be honest, there's really no easy or right or wrong way to to kind of tell them how you actually feel. Um, and my advice is to go for it um, because it's just <laughs> you just gotta go for it. Um, you don't want to live with that regret, you know? Just go for it. You'll be so much happier if you do. Um, either, either you guys, you know, be in an AMBW relationship and live happily ever after, or, or not. Either way, you're going to feel good about yourself. And that's the important part. Right. And, um, I mean, as far as, I mean, piggybacking off of that um, I would have to say you know I mean as far as it goes because you know this would is what you would call a crush because you, you kind of don't know how it's gonna go I mean it can go left and it can go real real right so I'd say you know just go into if, if you're gonna go ahead and do this I mean and I think that you should I think that you should go ahead and do this. Um, just go into make just go into this knowing that not really and not expecting not expecting anything because if you go in there with high expectations, you know I, I mean I've been there, girl. So if you go in there with high expectations, you're you you may end up hurt, more hurt than than anything and to prevent that I, I would say that you should just just go in there with a level head yeah see if he wants to take it to the next stage because who knows the fact that he's already chopping up with you for so long you're right. all like, you're all laughing and, and having a conversation you know he might be into you without without you realizing it Right, so I mean, you guys, you guys are really are already hanging out. It's not like you haven't introduced yourself yourself to each other. And uh, one thing that stuck out to me at the beginning is that he already knew that you were in his biology biology class, so he recognized you. You're already on his radar. So you were already on his radar. So that's a good sign as well. So I say just go ahead and go <laughs> ahead and take that step because of how you feel, and. Just know that, you know, if it doesn't go the way that you want, hey, you can keep him as a friend. Or if, if not, <laughs> there are plenty more fish in the sea, girl. You are in college. You're going to see so many other handsome guys. <laughs> he is not the only one there. So, if this doesn't go, you know, the way that you want it to, it's all right. As long as, as, long as you know which is the the biggest lesson out of this is that you took the step you know you, yeah. you 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 put yourself out there and hey and it's paid off thus far so you know give yourself some credit like Donnie said give yourself some credit you know you you put yourself out there and it worked and you have a you look like it seems like you have a cool friend um, in him yeah you went from crushing and not knowing how to, to break the ice to being in a friendship you know, just kind of repeat that a little bit uh, one more time. Now, next step is to express how you feel, and that will take it to the next level. You know, if he's ready, he's ready. If he's not, that's just the way it is, you know? 
and if you're the type of person that I am, I mm -hmm. would ask some questions, girl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, um, hey, are you, I mean, are you back home? Are you like, you know, are you seeing someone? What's going on back home? You know, how's life back home? Kind of like, you know, try and pull some information out of him before you go ahead and reveal, you know, your big reveal. So kind of get some more backstory information you know he is i don't know if you guys are in your hometown or home state um or if you guys are away from home but you know if if so you know try and get some backstory basically feel them out before you go all in yes. with your with your yes. questions you know, just feel them out <laughs> feel them out exactly <laughs> thank you baby you took the rest of my <laughs> I had to watch you struggle, but it's fine, baby. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yes, yes. Um, I hope that this helps you um, in any way. Um, we really appreciate you sending us the question. We really appreciate all the questions that you guys send us. So, you know, anybody else has a question, you know, send them over and send them over. We definitely don't mind answering and chopping it up with you guys. So, definitely. thanks, Thank Brianna. You. Thanks, Brianna. <laughs> I hope this helps, girl. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Real quick, we had to come right back to you because we had a bonus little nugget of advice to give to you guys. So we're going to just go ahead and just spit it all out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, all Asian guys are like any guy. Literally. And... Any given guy has their own preferences. So with that being said, no guy has the exact same, you know, likes and, and whatnot. So, you know, to each their own. So, you know, with that being said, just be yourself. And don't worry about what they think about you. Or what they might like. Because every guy is different. Asi every Asian guy, same difference. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that this goes out to all my my plus size girls, my skinny girls, petite girls, whatever, whatever. Okay, you, just put yourself out there. Be confident in yourself. Don't worry about. Don't compare yourself to other people. That is the quickest way to self sabotage yourself. Yeah, yeah. Love yourself in your skin as you are and improve yourself if, if, if that's what you want it, it just work on it elevating yourself but do not do not please 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 don't think that because because of maybe some silly stereotype or generalization that you know someone may not like you you know there there are, there are many men men white black asian who love plus size women or, or or vice versa it doesn't matter so don't let that be a a stop you know a stop mm -hmm. for you you know so just love what's in your hand all my beautiful ladies and <laughs> gentlemen out there you know I can't forget about y'all either so just love yourself Love yourself, and I guarantee you, the person, the right person, will accept you just as you are. Yeah. And and help and you and you both will help each other to elevate, and that's and that's the that's when you're with some a, with someone who's great and who's good for you, who really cares about you, because they will <laughs> add on to you and they will elevate you, not tear you down, make you feel bad about how you look or or whatever. So. Damn, that was a good nugget. Mm. 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 <laughs> but that's it, y'all. We're gonna go to sleep because it is. Shit, it's three in the morning. It's three o'clock. We putting in extra hours. <laughs> but that. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Yeah.